Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Let us stand and pray the Novena to the Immaculate Conception. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be Mary, Mother of God, and our Mother, who was conceived without original sin. Please kneel, and let us all together pray the Novena prayer. O Mary Immaculate, Lily, Lily of Purity, purity. From, from the, the very first, first moment of your conception, conception you were filled with grace. I thank and adore the Most Holy Trinity for having imparted to you sublime favors, such as bestowal on you of this great honor. And I prostrate myself before you to beg a share of your graces. To you, O Blessed Mother, I recommend myself, and I ask you to protect me against the dangers of body and soul most especially from the temptations against purity. Do not forsake me, Blessed Mother, because my salvation might be in peril if you would not protect me. I pledge to keep myself in a life of grace by imitating your virtues. And also through your glorious Immaculate Conception, I humbly implore you to grant me the special grace. In silence, let us mention our personal petitions. Which I seek to obtain in this, in this novena. novena. Amen. Amen. Prayer on the fifth day. O my Queen and my Mother, to you I recommend myself. And I am forever grateful for all the gifts I have received through your intercession. Strengthen, O oh my mother, my will, and purify my desires, that I may always be a true child to a pure mother and merciful queen. Grant that through my prayers and Christian life, I may be worthy to be with you in heaven, which is the true destiny of all redeemed. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Mercy, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother of Hope, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, Pray for us. Mother undefiled. Pray for us. Mother most amiable. Pray for us. Mother most admirable. Pray for us. Mother of good counsel. Pray for us. Mother of our Creator. Pray for us. Mother of our Savior. Pray for us. Virgin most prudent. Pray for us. Virgin most venerable. Pray for us. Virgin most renowned. Pray for us. Virgin most powerful. Pray for us. Virgin most merciful. Pray for us. Virgin most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of justice. Pray for us. Seat of wisdom. Pray for us. Cause of our joy. Pray for us. Spiritual vessel. Pray for us. Vessel of honor. Pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion. Pray for us. Mystical rose. Pray for us. Tower of David. Pray for us. Tower of ivory. Pray for us. House of gold. Pray for us. Ark of the covenant. Pray for us. Gate of heaven. Pray for us. Us. Morning star, pray for us. Health of the sick, pray for us. Refuge of sinners, pray for us. Solace of migrants, pray for us. Comforter of the afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. 
Queen of Angels, pray for us. Queen of Patriarchs, pray for us. Queen of Prophets, pray for us. Queen of Apostles, pray for us. Queen of Martyrs, pray for us. Queen of Confessors, pray for us. Queen of Virgins, pray for us. Queen of All Saints, pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Queen of families, pray for us. Queen of peace, pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. The Memorare, remember, remember O most gracious, gracious Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary, that never, never was, was it known that, that anyone, anyone who fled to your protection, protection implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my Mother. To you do I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Amen. Closing prayer. O most blessed Virgin Mary, you who were preserved from the stain of original sin, most loving and powerful patron of the Philippines, to you also be our endless praise, everlasting veneration, and thanksgiving in Christ Jesus. O Immaculate Mother, our most kind Mother, our most sweet and most exalted Queen, with grateful hearts, we praise your mercies and fly to your protection. O Blessed Lady, you who captivate with your sweetness the hearts of men, you who have captivated our hearts, you have captivated the hearts of our people also. You have established, fostered, and strengthened the foundations of the faith in our beloved land, by your good patronage, as manifested in so many visible proofs of your maternal love. We are yours. We wish to be yours. Show yourself a mother and patron to us. Guard us and protect us through your most powerful intercession. Amen. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you. Please stand and let us pray the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech, we beseech you, O Lord, Lord your grace into our hearts, that, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, Christ your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated, and let us prepare for the Holy Mass. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. 
Welcome to the fifth day of our novena to the Immaculate Conception. Our presider in today's Mass is Reverend Father David D. Concepcion, parish priest of the St. Maria Goretti Parish, Paco, Manila. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to participate in the sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have, have greatly sinned in my in thoughts and my, my words, words, in what, what I have done, done in what, in I, what have I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask I the ask Blessed, Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, Virgin, all, all the, the angels and saints, and, and you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to, to pray, pray for, for me, me to the, the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who through the preaching of St. Francis Xavier won many peoples to Yourself, grant that the hearts of the faithful may burn with the same zeal for the faith, and that Holy Church may everywhere rejoice in an abundance of offsprings. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, Your Son, who lives and reigns with You in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, But a very little while, and Lebanon shall be changed into an orchard and the orchard be regarded as a forest. On that day, the deaf shall hear the words of a book, and out of gloom and darkness, the eyes of the blind shall see. The lowly will ever find joy in the Lord, and the poor rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. For the tyrant, will be no more, and the arrogant will have gone. All who are alert to do evil will be cut off, 
those whose mere word condemns a man, who ensnare his defender at the gate, and leave the just man with an empty claim. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of the house of Jacob, who redeemed Abraham. Now Jacob shall have nothing to be ashamed of, nor shall his face grow pale. When his children see the work of my hands in his midst, they shall keep my name holy. They shall reverence the Holy One of Jacob and be in awe of the God of Israel. Those who are in spirit shall acquire understanding, and those who find fault shall receive instruction. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage, be stout-hearted, and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Please stand. Lord shall come with power. He will enlighten the eyes of his servants. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus passed by, two blind men followed him crying out, Son of David, have pity on us. When he entered the house, the blind men approached him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I can do this? Yes, Lord, they said to him. Then he touched their eyes and said, Let it be done for you according to your faith. And their eyes were opened. Jesus warned them sternly to see that no one knows about this. But they went out and spread word of him through all that land. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. If you are blind, what do you want? Of course, you want to see. If you are deaf, what do you want? Of course, you want to hear. But if you are not blind and you are not deaf, kung hindi ka bulag at hindi ka bingi, 
Ano ang gusto mo sa harapan ng Diyos? Ano ang iyong inaasam-asam? My dear friends, the first reading speaks of a prophecy that the Lord will provide an orchard in the land full of deserts and stones. Perhaps more than 2,000 years ago, it was unimaginable. But if you were given a chance to go to Holy Land, you will see a good plantation of mangoes, oranges, bananas, vegetable, and perhaps the people long time ago cannot imagine what you can see today. Mahirap isipin na sa isang disyerto, magkakaroon ng masaganang taniman. Ngunit ang aking tanong, yung mga nakakakita kaya ng masasaganang bagay ngayon sa gitna ng isang tuyong lupain dati, meron kaya silang higit na nakikita. Nakikita kaya nila ang pagkilos ng kamay ng Diyos. Doon sa mga anak na kung saan ang inyong mga magulang na habang kayo ay lumalaki, iniluluha nila ang pagtataguyod sa inyo, ang kalila mga panalangin na wa kayo ay makatapos magkaroon ng magandang bukas. At ngayon kayo na ang nasa taluktok ng kasaganahan. Alam nyo kaya ang kwento na meron ang inyong kahapon na kung saan ang inyong kinatatayuan ngayon ay dati isang pangarap lamang. Hinahabol-habol ng bulag si Jesus at ang tanong ng Diyos sa Kanya, Naniniwala ka ba na kaya pong gawin ito? Do you believe that I can do this? And the blind man said yes, and his eyes were open. But you have to understand this. In the many healing of God, after the healing, God would always say, Go, your faith has saved you. But in this gospel, God did never utter the word, Go, your faith has saved you. And what is the challenge? Maybe you have the faith so that you can see, but do you have the faith that you can be saved? Meron ka bang sapat na pananampalataya na mula sa iyong pagkabulag ikaw ay makakakita, sa iyong pagkabingi ikaw ay makaririnig, pero ang hamon sa araw na ito, sapat bang yung pananampalataya upang ang iyong kaluluwa ay maliligtas? Nagnunubina tayo sa para sa kapiestahan ng ating mahal na ina. Ang napakahirap ay nagdiriwang ng Pasko ang maraming tao pero hindi nila makita ang isang babae na sabi nga ni Apus, ang isang hirap, hindi lang ng pag-aalipusta, na hanggang ngayon, kay daming mananampalataya na hindi kaya siyang tanggapin. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, hindi mo pwedeng pakinabangan ang anumang maganda sa buhay mo kung hindi mo babalik tanaw, magbabalik tanaw sa mga kahapon kung paano ito nagkaroon ng kaganapan. Walang Pasko kung walang babaeng nagluwal sa Diyos na nagkatawan tao. Bakit tayo nagdiriwang ng nubinang ito? Sapagat gusto nating imulat ang ating mga mata, hindi lamang sa magagandang nangyayari sa ngayon, kundi tumanaw ng utang na loob sa mga taong tahimik na ginampanan ang kanilang tungkulin ng may pananampalataya 
sa salita ng Diyos. Gaano man ito ka-imposible. Dahil ang Diyos ang nagsabi, meron itong kaganapan. Kaya nga po ang aking tanong, sapat ba ang iyong pananampalataya na ikaw ay makakita? Ikalawa, sapat ba ang iyong pananampalataya na hindi lang ikaw ay makakita, kundi ang iyong kaluluwa ay maligtas? Amen. Please stand. My brothers and sisters, we ask God, our Heavenly Father, to open our eyes so that we may follow Him wholeheartedly. In every petition, let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may be a credible witness to the Gospel and be a sure guide to peace and solidarity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in government offices be men and women of principles and integrity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That like the two blind men, we may have firm confidence in Jesus and follow him on the path of life let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are suffering from failing eyesight or blindness may overcome their difficulties and find total healing, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our deceased relatives and friends may be granted perpetual light and eternal rest, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God, our loving Father, fill us with your love and dispel the darkness from our lives so that we may work in the light of Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. The table of the Lord is now prepared. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, these offerings we bring you in commemoration of St. Francis Xavier, and grant that as we journey to distant lands out of longing for the salvation of souls, so we too bearing effective witness to the gospel, may with our brothers and sisters eagerly hasten toward you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, 
Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for us on the festival of St. Francis Xavier, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with all the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Lord O Sana in, in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please the, stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, all the bishops and all the clergy. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Francis Xavier, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us now pray to the Father in the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us.
deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary worries and distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind, peace in our own homes, in our own families, peace in our workplace, peace in our community, peace in our country and in the world, and grant unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive him in Holy Communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
please stand. Let us pray. May your mysteries, O God, kindle in us that fire of charity with which St. Francis Xavier burned for the salvation of souls, so that walking ever more worthily in our vocation, we may obtain with him the rewards you promise. To those who labor well in your harvest, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pagdalo sa ating misa ngayong tanghali. Kayo po na narito sa Manila Cathedral. At ganun din po ang mga kasama natin sa live streaming ng pagdiriwang na ito. Thank you for joining the this online Mass on our fifth uh, novena as we prepare for the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception. And in a special way, we wish to thank our presider at today's liturgy, uh, Reverend Father Dave Concepcion. Father, thank you very much po. Alaktakan po natin si Father Dave. Father Dave is the, re this is the parish priest of... Uh, uh, Santa Maria Goretti Parish in Paco, Manila. And uh, si Father Dave po ay hinahangaan namin no, dahil siya isa sa mga uh, pari na nakikita natin ngayon sa social media. Ang kanyang mga misa, ang kanyang mga homilies, at lalong-lalo na po yung kanyang di po ba, Father Dave. No? Sana po ay subaybayan ninyo, sundan, i-follow po ninyo yung kanilang page sa parokya at marami po tayong matututunan. And um, we thank Father Dave for blessing us this uh, afternoon and for presiding at our Mass today. At uh, nais po namin ipaalala na sa darating na Miyerkules, sa kapistahan ng Immaculada Concepcion, ang mga misa po natin dito sa Manila Cathedral ay 8 o'clock and 11 o'clock in the morning 4 o'clock in the afternoon and 6 o'clock in the evening. Our 6 o'clock in the evening Mass will be presided by our Archbishop, Cardinal Jose Advincula. And within this Mass, Cardinal Advincula will also receive the pallium, a symbol of his being Archbishop, which is given to him by the Holy Father, Pope Francis, and will be invested on him by the Apostolic Nuncio. Muli po maraming salamat sa inyong lahat at nawa ay patuloy tayong maghanda para sa dakilang kapistahan ng ating mahal na birhen. Let us now stand for the final blessing. Maraming salamat po, Padre Reggie, sa karangalang maimbitahan dito sa Manila Cathedral. My brothers and sisters, if you fail to see what you ought to see, then you are among the blind. Kung hindi mo nakikita ang dapat mong makita, then katulad ka rin lang ng mga bulag. From the words of St. Francis of Xavier, that I may know God, that I may love God, and that I may serve God. I pray that through this novena, God will open your eyes and you may learn to imagine the unimaginable so that God can do the impossible in your life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Naway ingatan kayo ng Diyos, ilayo kayo ng Diyos sa lahat ng uri ng kapahamakan. Palagi kayong pagkaloban ng kalakasan, kalusugan, at kung meron man sa inyong may karamdaman, naway pagkaloban kayo ng Diyos ng kagalingan. Gabayan kayo sa inyong mga iniisip at ginagawa. Kung meron man kayong suliranin, lalong-lalo na sa panahon na ito ng pandemic, naway tuwangan kayo ng Diyos. Alisin ang inyong mga pagkatakot at pangamba. Dagdagan ang inyong mga pananalig at pananampalatay sa Kanya. Higit sa lahat, nawa ang inyong mga pamilya ay pagharian ng Diyos ng pagmamahalan, pagkakaisa, pagkakasundo-sundo, kapayapaan, kasayahan, 
puspos ng pag-ibig at kasaganahan. Naway pagkalob sa inang Diyos sa inyong mga panalangin, kayo ang inyong pamilya ay kanyang pagpalain. Sa ngala ng Ama at ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. We have celebrated the Eucharist. We now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. And with your spirit. So oh.